Let me see what kind of booth this. Yes, students. So we are the Shipping Association of Jamaica. And can anybody tell me what that means? Deals with ships. You deal with carrying in things to the island, so it's shipping. Right, you are. So we are all about shipping. Alright, so anything abroad that you want, you can come to us and we'll try to get it for you. Alright, now the big part of our mission is to get things into the country. Alright, so we have ships, we have other things like aircrafts and so on that helps to bring things into the country but we want to look more at the ships per se okay so ships are on water right so we are going to do an experiment here that has water and it also has containers we ship in containers as well all right so if we have a ship that is too heavy what will happen to that ship people are having a swim <laughs> if the ship is too heavy it will sink got that <laughs> awesome so our ships cannot be too heavy so there's a limit to the weight that we put on the ship so we need to weigh stuff in order to know what the ship can manage. So the ship can only um, ship can only take so much containers or so much weight. Just like the planes, if the plane is too heavy, it cannot fly. All right. So the ship is the same. Now I'm going to show you a little experiment that can be used in your classroom so teachers you can look as well so this can be used in your classroom and help the students to understand weight so if you don't have a scale to measure weight then you can use this and I want somebody one of my bright students that are here to tell me how they can use this little experiment okay I'm the bright student Mrs. was talking about all right so in order for us to find how much the pebbles weigh or their volume, we had to do this experiment with placing the pebbles in water. But before, we had to see how much water was in the measuring cup before. And afterwards, when we placed the pebble in there, we looked at the measurement again and what i did was subtract the first measurement that i got when it was only water from when the pebble was in and that is called displacement so it's volume by displacement so right here we have some milliliters of measuring cups all right so these were recycled from one household can you imagine so all of these one house all right so we're going to use this to measure the weight of these pebbles so how am i going to do that how can i measure this pebble or this marble with a measuring cup i don't understand so if something gets too heavy or the ship cannot go off the ship is sinking because things are heavy how can we know how to weigh items using just a container and marbles as well as some water here we have water as well so how can we do that all right so i'm going to pour some water into these cups and I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten volunteers. Me first, miss. Miss, I'm going to push me. I can't back sometimes. Miss, miss me, you want to do it. All right. So each cup. And 
I'm going to pour and then you read the measurement. Oops. So the teachers, the teachers would have to throw the water in each cup for the students because they can end up within up the place so what that is one of the challenge that we have or they might do too much water in and so are too little and so they can't get an accurate measurement so like this one this one has too much water in it so the pebble the pebble goes in the water will spill over so we need to get rid of some of the water all right so my volunteers you can step forward and do your measurement so you read it you carry it up read it so this one it's at 7.5 and this one is at you have to turn it focus the camera it's at 10 everybody see that 10 awesome so we're going to perform now so this one we said it was at 7.5 and this one is at 10 so I'm going to place the pebbles in so the one that was at 7.5 let's see what where it's at now Alright, there you go. So it is now at the 10 millimeter mark. What about this one? Okay, so it's a little bit under the 15. So let's turn it around, see if we can get something. Look at that. It's at the 12.5 milliliter mark. Alright. And I want. For the teachers the teachers can ask the students to write down their observations so they can place the students into groups and have them carry out this experiment all right so so far based on what we've been doing what are your observations so this was at 7.5 and now it is at 10 and this one was at 10 and now it's at 12.5 so write down what you observe also the others they can make their observation and for my observation all of them was going to the 2.5 milliliter so I'm assuming that all the pebbles measure 2.5 milliliter in volume so they carry out the experiment and make their observations and write it down so you ask them to write it down and what they can conclude from what they have done all right so one challenge that we found while doing this the students might be too excited and they lose the marbles or the pebbles or they throw them at each other or they throw the water and wet up the place also it is sometimes difficult to identify where to read from because the measurement from the the cups are on two sides so one has the point fives and the other has five tens fifteen and so on so you can just Tell the students to watch out for those things and for the teachers they can 
when they're placing the students in groups they can assign group leaders so that the students stay on task all right so they don't move from what they're doing and they don't get too distracted so award points for those who are following and doing the right thing and staying on task okay that's just a little piece come on tv right hi mom hi i'm on tv hi auntie hi mom